pregnant and almost do oop is being driven insane by her overbearing mill. I am not the original poster. Originally posted by you, not the end of summer in our Mildlinomiel. Mood spoiler. Mill doesn't learn but gets reined in. Less than. An NBSP. Original post September 8, 2022. Original title. Mill is driving me insane because she knows I'm having contractions. My Mill was supposed to be staying with us for a few days while attending a family member's funeral. But this morning she told my husband out of the blue that she was staying longer now. No reason just she was staying longer. She's been driving me pretty much insane. She questions everything I ask my kids to do. To loud while the youngest one naps. Decides to play with kids before they head off to school which makes them late. I could go on but it's too much a long list. After my husband left take the older kids to school and go to work this morning. She lets it slip she knew I was having contractions. Just from the way I found her hanging out in the hallway when I opened the our bedroom door I was. Kind of suspicious she may have been listening to what I said. She's tried making it to the other births in the past with the other kids but hasn't made it in time. This is after we have told her we don't want her there. But with my luck this baby has to be early and have the one woman who has been driving me insane. This whole week stay longer. I've told her it's best she goes back. We have a birth plan set up and she has a job and husband for her at home. She keeps saying she will think about it. But then says but that stuff can wait. My husband tried to talk to her about it but she isn't budging. She follows me everywhere like a little puppy that the only time I'm away from her is in my own bedroom or bathroom or like right now in bed. I know it may seem like a good idea for her to stay around to watch the other kids but I know she will try to find a way out of doing that. I already have my cousin doing that anyway. An NBSP. Update September 9, 2022. This morning I talked to my husband about it and told him he needed to get his mom out because she was making things extremely difficult by allowing her to walk all over us in our own home. He agreed and after our kids were at school and the youngest was at my cousin's house my husband went and told his mom she needed to leave. Her stay had ended and she needed to return home. At first she said no numerous times before it turned into an argument and my husband called his dad to somehow get down here to pick her up. She had driven here so my husband asked Phil to find a way to come get her in her car to save her. The excuse to come back and get it. Mill screamed that she was going for a walk because clearly we needed to calm down. And while she was gone I told my husband we should pack up her stuff. So he did he left her stuff outside by her car and locked the door. When she got back she tried to get back in and when she realized what was going on she called Phil. Whatever he said to her made her get in the car and go home. So finally she is gone. My husband and I have both agreed a few FaceTime calls here and there for her to see the baby will. Be fine but she probably won't meet the baby face to face until Thanksgiving. Now if you'll all excuse me I'm going to enjoy my evening without her constantly behind me. Grin. An NBSP. Second update posted in R. J. U. S. T. N. O. M. I. L. on October 5th. 2022. She was texting me for a week after that about when she could see the baby that I given birth to 48. Hours after she left. But the way she had reacted when we had calmly asked her the first time was what made us tell her that she could wait a bit before seeing the baby. She waited until Sunday of this week to start asking again. We've told her no already. She keeps forgetting we have just been through a hurricane. We have my cousin's kids staying at our house since we just had another baby. Our newborn. Plus we would want her to quarantine for two weeks since she works around people who are sick. We told her if she wasn't here to help out she wasn't staying in to find a hotel. She went quiet after that. Last night Phil called to say he had gotten into an argument with Mill because he found out she was. 
planning to surprise us and show up at our house for a mini holiday. Mil's sister called Phil to tell him Mil's plan. Mill seems adamant that no one can change her mind and she's in the right. But the more she acts like this is really starting to annoy me at this point because she doesn't seem to care about anyone else's feelings. An NBSP. Last update October 17, 2022. I feel like at this point my mill is trying to fight me on everything. Every couple of weeks it's something new with her. After my last post mill was told by Phil that if she showed up to our house he would be changing the locks on their house. So she changed her mind and called to tell us she wasn't coming. She asked if we would come to their house Halloween though. We had to tell her no. When she asked why, we told her it was because of the distance to their house and the fact it was going to be a school night. A couple years ago we spent Halloween at their house because it was on a Saturday and ever since. Then she's been trying to recreate that night again. We told her she might be lucky if we stayed at their house ever again for Halloween. She then started talking about plans for Halloween like we didn't just say no. So we hung up on her. She texted me with ideas for activities the kids could do and was sending me costumes for the baby. My husband told her to stop because we already told her no. Phil also found out what she was doing and told her to stop we had already said no and she needs to respect that. Haven't heard from her since but according to Phil she is still making plans and said she was making them for the rest of the family. Not just us. So she can have fun with us. We already have plans for Thanksgiving and Christmas with my family. Since it is their year. But I'm also hosting Christmas so it shall be fun. Sarcastic. How she'll try to control it all. An NBSP. Reminder I am not the original poster. Flagged as concluded because OOP didn't update after Christmas. So nice to see husband standing up for OOP, feels like it never happens. And she has a job and husband for her at home. She keeps saying she will think about it. But then says but that stuff can wait. She has a job? That just lets her be off on indefinite spawn camping leave? Good God this woman is exhausting. I'm always surprised on how long it takes people to juicy block people. Her husband can deal with his mom. Just block her and save yourself the headaches of the texts and calls. Time to move several states away. Some people have trouble hearing the word, no. So you should repeat it. But louder. Continue this pattern until either they hear you. Or the neighbors call the cops. Mill wanted to be at the birth, FFS she wasn't invited to be there. Birth is in a spectator sport. Damn. She crazy. There seems to be a complete disconnect between what they're saying and what she's hearing. Dang last post was before all the holidays, I really want an update. One has to wonder if Mill has all her marbles. It's one thing to disregard others' requests. This just seems like a whole other level. Phil is a good guy. I am loosing it over her talking a walk. You guys are out of your minds trying to make me leave so I am going to leave until you calm down. Like Shed somehow be allowed back in. Critical thinking skills unmatched. Dear Mill, your time here is up. Please flee. There's going to be another update. I know it. There are more surprises on the way. In all seriousness though, props to DH and Phil for being rational and sane. Glad OOP's husband put his foot down and is backing up his wife. Even if it was a bit delayed at first grandparents need to understand they're just the grandparents. And they don't get to dictate the lives of their children or grandchildren. I am trying to understand why Mill is like this. 
This isn't like a lot of other stories where she has her son wrapped around her finger and it's just pushing them away more and more. I would love to know what the point of all this is. What an awesome husband. Honestly I would be moving to another state immediately and blocking numbers for a while. I know that's a lot for a new baby though so I think blocking would have been just as effective. Wish we could get an update. If you are stressing out the woman in labor you need to leave. Maybe an exception if you are the one delivering the baby but even then thin ice. Pretty sure my mom would be that mill if my wife and I ever had kids. Neither me nor my siblings have kids. I'm not surprised she didn't labor until mill was gone. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.